Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Painkillers and pregnancy, the facts. So as the years progress, there are things you should definitely do when you're pregnant. There's also things you should definitely avoid when you're pregnant. And as more and more time goes on, there's more studies done, more tests are done, and these things can change, and more things included in the things you should, and more things included in the things you shouldn't. So the point on this is to give you an update on where we are with painkillers. And research is continuing to find that mild painkillers such as paracetamol and ibuprofen can still have a damaging effect on the developing fetus. So later studies suggest that ibuprofen can easily pass through the placenta, that is the organ that helps to exchange nutrients and waste between the mother and the baby. It can easily pass through, but it can cause irreversible damage to the developing ovaries of the female fetus. Now, it's commonly believed that as soon as a girl is born, she has all of the eggs that she will need for her entire life. So then anything that can cause damage to the ovaries or egg production whilst the fetus is developing will also affect her reproductive fertility during life and also the onset of menopause. Now the study tested ovarian tissue from aborted fetuses. So it's not an exact replica for what will happen during pregnancy, and it's not an exact replica for development of the ovarian tissue in a fetus in a mother during pregnancy, but it does give a good indication of the effect of the drug on the ovarian tissue in the fetus. Now it's already known that ibuprofen can interfere with the blood supply during the late stage of pregnancy and can also trigger, cause miscarriages in the early stages of pregnancy. Now, so that's definitely a drug to avoid if you're pregnant. Worryingly, a study of new mothers in Canada and the US found that 28% had taken ibuprofen at some stage during their pregnancy. It's a complete no, no, no. Do not take it at any stage. Next is paracetamol, which is the painkiller of choice for the majority of women in Europe and in the US. Now, studies are still running with paracetamol. There's no conclusive evidence of what it can do to a developing fetus, but it has been associated with altering the brain development in fetuses. And studies have shown it's also been linked to slower development of communication skills, autism, ADHD and learning to be able to walk at a later stage. But doctors are still prescribing paracetamol because the guidelines haven't changed. So what's the take home message? Take home message is don't take any drugs that you don't need to take if you're a pregnant woman. Just don't take them. The only exception to that is that research pointed out if you have something like a fever, there's a chance you could have premature labor. And so you may need some paracetamol to treat something as extreme as a fever. But you can have very, very, very small doses of paracetamol and it still be effective. So always consult your doctor if you feel like you absolutely have to have some sort of painkiller, some sort of pain relief. But if it can be avoided, it should be avoided. That is pregnancy and painkillers, the facts. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.